More breaking news right now that we're following. Officials are hosting an official groundbreaking ceremony for a new Islanders Arena in Belmont Park. Let's go ahead and listen in. State Senators Anna Kaplan, Todd Kaminsky, Leroy Comrie, John Brooks, Kevin Thomas, Jim Goran. Assembly members, Tony Diasuro and Judy Griffin. And our community partners and business leaders, including President and CEO of Northwell Health, Michael Dowling. The co-chairs of our Long Island Regional Economic Development Council, President and CEO of Long Island Association, Kevin Law, and President of Hoster University, Stu Rabinowitz. I would also like to thank Kelly Cummings and the wonderful team at ESD who have worked tirelessly on this project. Other stakeholders, friends and fans who I want to acknowledge, lifelong Islander fans, Ralph Macchio and Kevin Connolly. <laughs> New York Racing Association President and CEO, David O'Rourke. <laughs> and finally, I want to thank our partners in labor, our other community partners, and all of the people who work to make this project a reality. Today is an exciting day, not just for New York hockey fans, but because we are breaking ground on a forward-thinking project that will reimagine Belmont Park and accomplish many of Governor Cuomo's goals here on Long Island. We're building Nassau County's economy. We're creating an international destination. We're creating thousands of jobs, and of course, we're bringing the New York Islanders home. <laughs> to borrow a famous hockey phrase, today we don't skate to where the puck is, we are skating to where the puck is going. It requires vision to foresee opportunities and action to make them a reality. That's exactly what Governor Cuomo has envisioned for this, for this project and quite frankly, for economic development across the state. The Belmont Development Project is truly visionary. Today, at this site, and south of the Hampstead Turnpike, as you can see, we have parking lots. And at that, they are rarely used by visitors. In the coming months, the construction team here at Belmont will invest $1.3 billion of private financing to transform 43 acres of underused state-owned land into a world-class destination that Long Island expects and deserves. So let me break down for you what this means. This project will turn these parking lots into a 19,000-seat arena, a 250-room hotel, and a state-of-the-art interactive retail village that will cover over 300,000 square feet. This site will be a beacon for New Yorkers and tourists worldwide. The Belmont Park Arena, the new home of the New York Islanders, will be a state-of-the-art 19,000-seat facility carefully designed for hockey fans. Every seat will have great sight lines so you can see the action on the rink. And there will be modern amenities throughout the arena. The arena will be about you, the fans. You will remain the focus of the team, and every detail is crafted to ensure that you have the best possible experience. The arena will span 745,000 square feet and be designed and inspired with elements of classic New York architecture. Iconic beacons at the top of the arena will shine different colors to celebrate specific events 
and a brick facade and large window will be there to celebrate the Belmont Park Grandstand next door. The arena will have two outdoor terraces like what you see, including one overlooking Belmont Park with metal BP accents and the use of repurposed local materials. The state of the art arena honors the legacy of Belmont Park while providing everything that hockey fans demand. From the moment that you walk in to an open, bright, airy and active lobby, you will feel the energy of a championship team, a team that is poised to continue those glory days. The arena is designed so that whether you're in the lobby, in your seats, at one of the restaurants or one of the markets, you will feel the action. Now the arena may be the centerpiece, but it is only one part of this redevelopment. Surrounding the arena will be a modern and interactive retail village that will include landscape paths and modern design elements from across the region. This will not be ordinary retail, and it is certainly not a mall. Rather, it is a futuristic retail experience that will redefine the way we shop in the 21st century. And while this project starts with a new home for the Islanders here on Long Island, this is not just a site for hockey fans. It's not just about concerts or shopping, and it's not just a venue for new community events. It's about creating a destination that all New Yorkers can enjoy. Belmont Park will become the family destination. While father and daughter may be enjoying the hockey game, mom and son may be shopping. And then afterwards, they can gather together, have dinner, and do so at one location. Now, that's the vision for the physical structure that is being built. But with this project, we are also investing in the people of the state of New York. We are creating 10,000 construction jobs. <laughs> That means good jobs for electricians, carpenters, masons, and others across the region. And when the project is complete, this project will sustain 3,200 full-time jobs. This is a mammoth project, and this redevelopment will have a real, positive, and meaningful impact on thousands of New Yorkers. This project will also improve the quality of life for New Yorkers. Construction will generate an economic impact of $2.7 billion, and each year, ongoing operations will produce $850 million in economic activity. That investment in the regional economy will then support the county, the town, the MTA, and the local schools. The project will include over four, five acres of open space. The developers have also committed to improving two of the local public parks, Elmont Road Park and Hendrickson Avenue Park, and doing so through a community-driven process. We have already hosted a meeting with local stakeholders, and we will continue those discussions to ensure we deliver the park upgrades in partnership with New York Belmont Partners, Nassau County, and the town of Hempstead. Thanks to an innovative public-private partnership, this project will also boost access to public transit, delivering a new full-time full -time Long Island Railroad Station in Elmont. Back in 2008, 11 years ago, this community called for new commuting options in the Elmont Vision Plan. Today, Governor Cuomo is delivering on that need identified by this community, bringing a new train station as part of this project. This new station will be built in two phases. The first will be, on, will be open in time for the 2021 hockey season with the opening of the new arena this phase will include an eastbound platform for trains heading from New York City. In late 2022, 
After the third track project is completed, we will finish the second phase, which includes the westbound platform and an overpass connecting it to the eastbound platform and the Belmont Park site. The second phase is critical because it delivers a single seat ride for, trans, for fans traveling from further out on Long Island to Belmont Park. Right now, if you live in Ralph's hometown of Port Jefferson and you want to take a train to Belmont Park, you need to ride to Jamaica, past Belmont, and then backtrack using the existing spur station. When the new Elmont station is complete, backtracking will be a thing of the past and Long Islanders will have direct access to this arena and the new retail village. This new station will welcome visitors to Belmont Park and provide a new full-time commuting option for local residents. And whether you're coming from the city to Belmont for a game or a concert or an event, or you're an Elmont resident with a faster, easier commute thanks to this new station, we will be enhancing your quality and standard of living for those in this region. Taken together, this project is greater than the sum of its parts. With the Belmont Park Redevelopment Project, we are not just building for the present. We are investing for the future. We are skating to where the puck is going. Thanks to Governor Cuomo for making Long Island a better place to live, to work, and to play. Now, as a hockey fan born in Montreal, I remember very clearly how the Islanders snapped the winning streak of the Canadians to win four straight championships. With the storied, with the storied history of this great franchise and the legacy of Belmont Park, I know that an exciting new era rich with great traditions, will shine in this new arena. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct honour and privilege to introduce the person who has made this possible. The man who not only articulated the vision for this project, but who has also provided us with the resources and tools to make it a reality. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming our Governor, Governor Cuomo, to the stage. Well done. Thank you, sir. Well done. Good afternoon. How great a day is this? Uh, first, Eric Gertler and the whole team at Empire State Development, we wouldn't be here today without them. Let's give them a big round of applause. John Ledecky, the owner of the Islanders, thank you very much, John, for everything you've done. <laughs> to Fred Wilpon, who is a New York legend, and Jeff Wilpon, thank you very much for staying with this project. <laughs> Commissioner Gary Bettman, who's been great for the entire league, but he's also been great to New York. Let's give the Commissioner a big round of applause. <laughs> Islanders captain Anders Lee, thank you for being here. <laughs> to a lot of people had to work together to make today a reality. Let's give a big round of applause to County Executive Laura Curran. <laughs> to my colleagues in the legislature, special thank you to Senator Anna Kaplan. Let's give her a round of applause. And the star of the Senate team is Senator Leroy Comrie, who showed the professionalism, the responsibility, and the political courage to do the right thing. Thank you, Senator Leroy Comrie. Today is great. Uh, I'm an old Queens boy, and for many years, I'd go up and down the Cross Island Parkway, you'd look at this site, and you'd say, why doesn't someone do something with that site? 440 acres, all sorts of potential just sitting there, and it sat widely unused for a long, long time. Well, today is a different day, my friends. This is going to be a transformative project that I think is going to energize all of Long Island. It does several things all at once. First, 
bringing the Long Island Railroad here to Wellmont, a Long Island Railroad that goes both ways. You can commute into the city. People can take the Long Island Railroad to the game. That is a game changer. It's long overdue. You put it together with the other Long Island Railroad improvements, the second track, the third track, 59 renovated stations. It is going to be a different day. And finally, finally, the Long Island Railroad is going to be here. Second, it will revitalize the entire economy, I think, of the region, certainly of the locality. 350,000 square feet of development, a hotel, retail, uh, 10,000 construction jobs. It's going to maximize the potential of this site, uh, and that's long overdue. And third, it is going to bring the islanders back home where they belong. A 19,000-seat auditorium stadium in the middle of that development with restaurants and retails. It's going to be state-of-the-art, and it is exactly what Long Island deserved. The islanders were just more than a hockey team. They were a Long Island identity. They said to Long Island, you are special, and you have your own team, and that's the name of the Islanders. And God bless other parts where they play, but there's no place like the Islanders playing on Long Island, period. <laughs> They've already started to make the transition back home, as I call it. Commissioner Bettman and I had an agreement where 21 games would be played at the Nassau Coliseum as they're making the transition back home. I spoke to the commissioner as part of this transaction, and the commissioner promised me that they would play even more games at the Nassau Coliseum. I know the commissioner is a man of his word, and I know that there are many state police on site today. Just in case the commissioner is not a man of his word, but I know he is. I want to thank everyone and congratulate everyone on what is really a fantastic development. This is one of the largest and most impactful developments that have been done in the entire downstate region in a long, long time. And you know what we call a project that brings three great things together, a new transportation terminal, a great economic development vehicle, and a great new sports stadium. Three things all together in one project. The technical economic development term is that is a hat trick, my friends. Congratulations. Let's give the commissioner a big round of applause. Uh, when, when people look at the history of the Islanders, you have all been listening in on the new plan to bring the New York Islanders home to Long Island. The governor and other officials there on Long Island calling this an exciting new era for the hockey team, the fans, and of course, Long Island. Uh, the new arena will be at Belmont Park, a $1.3 billion project. Governor Andrew Cuomo calling it one of the largest and most significant projects ever for the downstate area. This will be a 19,000 seat arena. They're also building a 250 room hotel room. There will be 300,000 square feet of shops and restaurants. And then, of course, anytime you have a project of this size, people want to know what about the jobs? Will it bring jobs to the area? They are, of of course, touting a lot of development as far as jobs go. They say there will be 10,000 new construction jobs and 3,200 full-time jobs. Once again, the bottom line here, the Islanders coming home to Long Island, where so many people say they belong, of course.